everybody and welcome to another episode of uh, Naval Action. And today is a special video because you know what time it is? It's patch time! Anyway, so as a day of recording, it's yesterday. At the t day of upload it will be two days with the new patch. And I'll be going through what's new. And... Well, we'll start with... Uh, The import thing. So they removed honor kills. Some are happy about it, some are not. I personally don't mind either way. But um, let's begin with. That's just my ship. First, new tab in events. You can take orders. So if I request an order, search and destroy an air VO to queue you. So you can request an order, you can go in map. And also, ah, I have a search and destroy command here. Another for, so I have to go here, find the event, kill the ships. But now that we're here, some ne more news. It says the nation ports, and if you, you visit them, it will tell you what it's producing. So, Oranjestad produces a hemp, iron ore, lignum vitae, log, oak log, and Batavian spices. Willemstad the same. Kokibukoa, pine, log, redwood. You get the point. And you see the nation. So they've uh, changed the map a bit, which is alright. Shop, pretty much the same. Fleet, let's repair her. Nothing new here. Ships, nothing new here. Well, you can get varied ship, but that's been there for a while. Crafting, nothing new here. I have 440, let's build. Um, yeah. But here, conquest. This is where the big part of the patch comes. You can capture nations. So if we go pirates, we could capture, say, Avis. And you can bring... You have two ports. You have deep water and shallow water. Deep water you can bring from Cerberus to Santissima. In theory, do note that at the time of the recording, there's a bug where the biggest you can do is Connie. And you have shallow water port, which is you can sell anything between the brig and the mercury. Really? You can't bring the yacht? I'm disappointed. So then you can buy a flag, get more information. It'll say there is zero, 0 out of 1 active flag for your nation, the price is 160 gold, then you can buy the flag, and then you have to sail over there to capture it. So tomorrow there will be a video of us doing a port battle, only the in battle itself, but what you do is, say I attack Koro, I reach, look for Koro, there, get more information, that's 660, 1000 gold, I buy a flag, and then you have to sail over there, Sit with the flag there for two minutes, the battle will start, and then you join, and then you have to destroy or capture five. Huh. I just got kicked. Anyways, the, you have to destroy five ships, five uh, forts or towers. Let's see. Search and destroy near real. Yeah. Of course, for the search and destroy, you get 5,000 gold and 150 XP reward. It's just, they've just implemented a feature. But that's not where the middle of the changes are. So let's set sail. I'm in my lovely little victory. They also added the uh, server selection, so you can choose. It's in preparation for PvP and PvE servers, I suspect. PvE servers, you won't be able to capture ports in that. And no PvP, obviously, in PvE servers. But in PvP, it's command load. Is my game bugged? Give it 10 seconds. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, another change. More varied fleets, finally. So, here we have a ship with a Mercury. Or a Bell Pool. 
And really, the honor system would be a lot better if they just had implemented varied fleets with the, you know, honor system. Since it was the biggest problem, in my opinion, was that you couldn't get the ships. But now that's fixed. But also, another problem was the fact that uh, you couldn't actually. Uh, what am I looking for? Um, it demoted a lot of people. So, I'm just going to give you guys a map update. So, this is what has happened. The Americans have captured 10 ports. So, it's like, these were its ports, initially. To like, Sunbury or something. But they've captured all those ports. And two ports there. Little Inagua or pa and Pirate Cay. The Danish have captured Road Town. It used to be my base of operations before. Well, not exactly. I used to visit there frequently before. And Passage, I think. British. The Swedish have ca for captured the settlement. Philipsburg. And that's it. The French have captured all of this pretty much. With exception of Grand Anse, Rosalie and Rosau. We, the Dutch, have captured Rico Tokio, or however you pronounce it, Cabo de la Vela, which is the battle for which you'll see tomorrow, and Casigua, down here. And we're... I'm not going to say the plans, basically. And the British, I don't know what they've done. They might have captured some stuff. They captured Nips, I think. Nipples. The pirates have also captured something. But I'm not entirely up to date. Uh, what more? Oh yeah. That's it really. So, while we're sailing down to the event. Look at this. And it's also nice to finally see more varied ships. Like, how long is it since you've seen this thing in the open world? Or that thing, the Mercury. And because of Donner kills, I'm not going to sail the Pavel anymore. The Victory is a beautiful ship. Let's see, so I was at Willemstad, so I have to sail down here I think they should use a higher resolution image for this like you see so it's roughly southeast we have to sail um, let's go on to the patch modes so there's no patch with glorious game breaki breaking bugs that's the number one in the patch notes every time they do this and there have been a couple of bugs, like Consti being the biggest ship you can take in into port battles, which is annoying, but it's due to them changing battle ratings, which I'll get to later. Um, port battles added, gone for it. Admiral orders added to events, that's what, Admirality orders, that's what I've done. Honor kill requirements removed, also talked through. Uh, open map event foundations added. So, the uh, Th that's like you you'll sometimes see battle marker like this while you're sailing and that'll be an event which will be in the future like gold sh gold uh, treasure ships and such I suspect but ships rarity returned oh yeah uh huh uh huh excellent teleport now only works to capitals excellent and uh, it's obvious like we couldn't have that with port battles introduced which would be pretty sad. Oh, looks like somebody's capturing. Uh, capturing uh, Spanish town. I suspect the Danes, since this is Danish areas. Also, I forgot to mention free towns and region capitals and capitals you can't capture. So we can't capture Cap Maracaibo. People can't capture Willemstad since that's our capital.
the Danish are our allies, so I hope they succeed. Um, yeah, you can't capture free towns or capitals or region capitals. So Lanyestad and Fort Bay will sooner or later be captured. The Swedes tried yesterday, patch day, to capture it, but they failed, Fort Bay. They captured the settlement though, which was British, I think. Uh, what more? Port, um, Pre-port battle anti-griefing mechanics introduced. You cannot attack vessels or groups that have BR five times higher than you. Good. If you are attacking a group of ships stationed together, their com combined BR is taken into account. Frigga supposedly, supposedly won't attack five centimeters mass sailing close to each other. They might because peg. We don't know. I hope uh, they implemented that flawlessly. Anyways, map tech improvement. I showed that fleets no longer fire at their masters, so you won't have your snows fire at you anymore. Ain't that lovely? Repair crit, now repairs all critical damage, that's basically just module repairs, nothing new there. Uh, speeds overhaul for all vessels. We'll see how that is. Look at that. Bell pool, frigate, service and surprise. Oh yeah. It's so nice to see varied fleets again. It was getting boring with like only seeing third rates and frigates and Cerberus and all that. Speeds for open world tuned to be more comfortable while still being realistic. Okay. Battle circle of death radius increased two times in events. We'll see how that works out in Trafalgar. Battle circle of death reduction speed increased. I think that's supposed to be decreased three times. Max crew for junior lieutenant and alternatives was increased to allow sailing the snow. Okay. Group icons have changed. They look they're they're better looking flags now, but they're still kind of flags. Instead of like square flags, they're more realistic, like they're in the wind. So that's Las Fortorania. I don't see the bottle mark yet. Let's see. Minor UI changes in port to allow for new features. We've seen that. Ship BR adjusted across all vessels. I'll get to that one later. Uh, more traders with escorts have been added. Excellent. Kill XP bugs fixed. Okay. Repair crits cooldown has been reduced to 7.5 minutes from 10 minutes, I think it is. But behavior somewhat improved. I'm happy to see that. Large NPC fleets are back. Excellent. Uh, regular battle close after 5 minutes now. I think that's a welcome cho choice, but. I can see uh, arguments for both sides of the fence of reducing it and increasing it. Port battle entry close after 20 minutes. Allows people 20 minutes, plenty of time to get to the port battle. BR of reinforcements will not change the BR of battle and will not allow entry of additional enemies anymore. Which is basically kind of an anti-ganking measure. Which is pretty good. It's alright. NPC military ships and convoys will attack each other more than before. Which, in the previous patch, was never. They literally sail past with each other. Now, where's that battle marker? Let's see, Willem Star. He's still got a while to go, I suspect. Will, that's Willem Star. Here's some. There, we have Fortodania. Hmm. We'll see it eventually. Um. And more fixes and uh, more fixes were done and problems created as usual. Now on to the battle ratings. So I have a list which I'll put in the description. It's on the forums. You can also find it by searching for ship battle ratings list. Uh, still no battle marker.
southeast, right? Yeah. And when the fog comes in, we won't be able to see shit. Anyways, let's get to the battle rating. The Lynx is now 20 battle rating instead of 5, I think. Carter is 20. I don't remember what they were before. Privateer 20, Pickle 20, Trader's Brig 20, Trader's Carter 20, Trader's Snow 20, Yacht 30, Brig 25, I need to rearrange that, I just see. Navy Brig 35, Snow 35, Mercury 50, Cerberus 80, so that's still the same. I think the Mercury went from fifty to uh, from sixty to fifty. I'm not sure. Might be a typo. Uh, I, I will skip the ships which are not in the game, but I have battle rating of them. Might be placeholder. So, and surprise, one hundred and forty. Renome, one hundred and ten. Frigate, one hundred and seventy. Bell Pool, one hundred and eighty. Pirate Frigate, one hundred and eighty. Chincomelli, two hundred. Constitution, two fifty. Bologna, third rate, three fifty. Pavel 350, so all the third rates and up have in gone higher. The Victory 500, excellent. The Santisma 550. And that's also where I think the bug is from. Like, since the max ball rating used to be 330, so the devs might have coded in that 330 is the max ball rating in the event, which doesn't include the new ships or the victory, Pavel, third rate and Santisma because that's higher than 330. Might be fixed now when the video gets up, but whatever. It's it's a bug, we'll hopefully it'll be fixed. Uh, so yeah. Battle rating's been changed, the string commonly went up, the frigate went up, the bell pool went up, the renome went up, the surprise went up, the server stayed the same, the Mercury Got lower, the snow remained, navy brig renamed, brig re remained, yacht, I would think went up, pickle stayed the same, privateer stayed the same, cutter I think stayed the same, and links went up. So that's the meat of the, where the hell is that? I'm not blind am I? Don't tell me I'm blind. I might be blind. And folks coming in so we won't be able to see shit. Well, I've gone for everything, so... Basically, the event is a bit like... Uh, I guess I'll just explain it if I can't find it. The event is a bit like regular battle. You just... You see the battle marker, you press on it, and you press join event it is instead of join battle. And then you sink a ship. And that's it. I don't think I'll find it with the fog. So anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!